welcome to the new IT. Here we are talking about the new IT. Another week, another episode of the new IT. What's going on today? Brad, what are we talking about today? Hot or not? Is Salt oh, Lake City I, I know up. that website. Oh, wait. <laughs> Salt Lake <laughs> City heating up. Oh, oh, Salt Lake City. We're talking specifically, we're getting a little niche here and talking about Salt Lake City itself today in the IT world. Absolutely. I mean, knowing that we're, we're both from here, I think it's you know probably a good time that we cover you know what it's like to, to deal with IT in Salt Lake City. And there really is a lot of buzz going on right now, which we're going to talk about. We're going to kind of hit it. So let if we just jump right into that, since we kind of did, yeah. is uh, Salt Lake a hot spot right now? Is it is it hot here in the IT world tech world is this the place to get a job right now absolutely um just according to recent data published by the census bureau just in terms of overall growth we're up 10 percent, which is more than any other any other state in the nation uh over the last 10 years so we're we've experienced complete uh growth and, it, and it's only getting bigger and bigger and just more and more tech companies coming in even the big dogs are, are coming in now we have pretty much all of the the big ones, they have some kind of a presence here. Facebook, Adobe, Oracle, you name it. They all have a headquarters here of some kind. Absolutely. And the best part about that is, is I mean, not only do we have large companies coming in, but we have companies that are that are starting here and, and getting their foundations yeah. and their roots from here. So Th- even that better. are becoming really yeah. large uh, companies. They're, yeah. they're becoming very big big in the industries that Absolutely. they're in. So yeah, there's a lot of growth going that, on here yeah, in Utah. In that same vein, I mean, you think of companies like Qualitrix. Qualitrix is a Utah-based company that, that got started here. Mm-hmm. Plural Sites here, yep. OC Tanner. I mean, there's lots of huge companies that are here already. Yeah. So why do you think it's hot? I mean, what what's what's what is it about Utah that's making everything hot? What's going on? Here? I mean, what why is why is this a good place? Well, I mean, kind of tying into what we were talking about last week, I believe it's the culture. Um, mm. As as individuals here, I think that we're very smart and we're very outgoing. So I think that just leads to curiosity. And the more curious you are, as you know, being in the IT field, it's only going to benefit you. So the need the need for for talent is always going to be there. But we're we're at the forefront because we we see companies wanting that talent that that is curious. I think, too, the culture here in Utah is kind of a DIY type of I'll do it myself. And I think that kind of raises up kids and people to be more entrepreneur minded. It it just that's just me throwing that out there. And I think Utah is a very entrepreneur minded start. Let's start a business. Let's do something it just seems that way, at least the 20 years I've lived here. Honestly, you're you're right on. I mean, I, I, I know I heard a stat one time, I want to say a couple years ago, but at the time, Utah was number one in entrepreneurship because we do have that mindset to do it yourself or or to go out and, and be curious and to figure mm-hmm. things out on your own. Yeah. Cool. So is it... Uh is it still growing then? Is it, 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 have we have we stagnated or I mean I know it's we we just said it's hot so I think the answer to this is of course it's still growing but do you see that slowing down any or do you think it's going to speed up or are we just going to get more and more flux? What do you think? Honestly, I see more and more of it growing. Um, quite honestly, like I don't I don't see any projections for us slowing down anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean I know I know they do the census every ten years but. Honestly, I don't see it going. I see it going for at least another ten years. I mean, just because we we are so wide open, we do have the space, we do have the talent, we do have people wanting to be here. So you you put all that together, and it's only going to create you know even even more demand for for people wanting to come here. Not only people, but companies. I mean, like we said, I mean, Facebook's here. Um, you have large large organizations that want to be here because we we have a workforce that does know what they're talking about and the cost of living is cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. So is this, is Salt Lake, is Utah, Salt Lake, this area, the new Mecca? Is it the new tech Mecca? Is it taking over California? Is it, or it's probably got a ways to go to, I mean, the, 
we're talking quite a difference still right now and even how many people are in what are we like three million in in the whole state of utah yeah i mean i think so, we're somewhere like around three four million but yeah got a ways to go to catch up with cali right. probably i think last i heard too i think like cali's like up to like 45 million so yeah, yeah i mean we, like we got a ways to go but is is it is it get is it getting known as a mecca now i mean is it the you know is it on the map uh, all over the country that if you're a tech person and you're wanting to get into some really cool stuff utah might be that place absolutely and in, in my opinion yeah i mean i think we are we we have established ourselves in that realm of saying we are we are there we our workforce is good enough that we can become that next mecca. We do know what we're talking about. We do know we do have the the schools and the and the capabilities of being able to be, you know, tops in the nations in in IT. So yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah, it seems like it's not slowing down at all. No, uh, I quite honestly, like I mean, my my phone is always ringing, and that's a good problem to have. So I mean, I I see demand only going up more and more. So did did COVID hurt or help? Uh, Salt Lake or, or Utah specifically, did do you think it slowed things down? Did it maybe speed things up? Uh, what because you know COVID is a part of everything now. Is at least what happened or where and and so we everybody's wondering and looking at if 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 COVID is an impact negative or because there has been some po- I think some positive things out of it. But what do you think about? Utah specifically in technology. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, we were hit just like everybody else. But I think Utah was quick enough and smart enough to respond in a in a fast enough manner that we didn't get slowed down as much as other cities. Mm. I mean, from my personal experience, I don't know about you, but it seemed like for me, like the commute to, into the office really wasn't as bad as it normally was. Oh it my was gosh! Only, it, was it was only a couple of weeks, and then it was like kind of we could we could slowly start to get back to normal. Yeah. At least that's the way it felt for me. I gotta say, I did like it when I was driving in here and nobody else right. was. That that, I that, was, that really was that was really awesome. cool. No traffic. Exactly. I, well, and I know we we laugh in Salt Lake because because compared to other big cities, Salt Lake City's traffic is nothing. Right. Compa- you know, rush hour here. Yeah, it's a little annoying. And yeah, people drive crappy here in Utah. But but it's not like driving in Dallas during rush hour or L.A. I exactly. mean, L.A. and during rush. I mean, you don't move You're for like a long for two, time. two, three hours. Exactly. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I just laugh about the uh, traffic right. here. Thankfully, we don't have that much of an issue. I mean, I think at least not yet. But as people still I mean, people are flooding into the state. And they are. But I mean, uh, Maybe maybe call me a little bit naive on this one, but I believe in local government enough to be able to forecast and see this. I think they've done an excellent job in making sure that we do have infrastructure in place to be able to handle these types of things. Yeah. I mean, we do have light rail. We do have we do have what we call front runner. So that goes, uh, I think, from Ogden to Provo, which is roughly about a hundred miles. Mm-hmm. So we do we do have the infrastructure, and they're only looking to build upon that. I think we have it. It's just can we can we get it quick enough? Yeah. Are we going to be able to to get it before this big push comes yeah. in? There's a lot of growth, no. a lot of growth here, guys. And uh, it's I, I've been here over 20 years and it's a uh, uh, Utah's grown on me. I'll say that. And it's been great to me technology wise. It's been really good to me. So I can't complain that way. Right. So, so let me I mean, let me ask you this. I mean, knowing that you, you do have an IT business and a consulting mm-hmm. business. Have you seen growth? I mean, since the time you've been here? Uh, since the time I started? Yeah, or, since you started. I've definitely seen a lot more tech and a lot more response to tech. It's everywhere now. It's it's really, it doesn't call it Silicon Slopes for nothing. I mean, right. we really, technology is booming. And, and I see it more, which is great, because then there's more opportunities for me and my Absolutely. company. And so it's been... Uh, it's been good to kind of ride that wave, I think. Right. So I wanted to know what what jobs are hot in Utah. What's going on in Utah that's like super hot, super super, you know, fiery jobs. Yeah, I have. mean, so what we're seeing on our front, we see. I mean, the top three that I'm really seeing right now is cloud management, so anything cloud based, um, cybersecurity, and then DevOps. Those are the three. Those are the, the top big. three that we're seeing a lot of influx right now with. Not a big surprise with security, uh, nope. cloud. Not a big surprise there. Nope. DevOps has always been a big one, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's kind of 
And like I said, I mean, I think this is You can always get a job if you're doing development stuff. Well, I mean, call me a little bit, um, what's the word I want to use, biased, but Uh um, I I really do believe that people in Utah are smart enough to be able to figure things out. So, and in the IT world, you, you are always doing that. You're curious. So I think as long as you're doing something in IT, you're always going to have a job. Yep. I agree. Totally, totally, totally agree. And now this brings me to something else that I'm, I find, or at least this is what I've been hearing. And I'm curious if this is what your, your uh, experience is. So salary compared to uh, cost of living in Utah is, so people talk about the cost of living in Utah is pretty good, but they say that you also get paid better in Utah is what I've been hearing, that you get paid better and the cost of living is lower. So it's definitely a better place if you want to live a little better. Is that true? Is that just hearsay? I mean, that's what I've been hearing that, hey, it, it, the, the tech jobs here pay better than, than they would in normal places with this kind of economy. Is that right? Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, obviously, I mean, if you're if you're wanting more money, I mean, the best advice I could give you is work with a recruiter. So they're they're going to help you mm-hmm. get more money. But beyond that, I mean, I do think that Utah has grown enough that we're a big enough major metropolitan that we are seeing an influx of, of wage increases. However, you can still live far enough out and still be close enough to the city that you are getting more bang for your buck because of the cost of living being so cheap. Yeah. I mean, people are floating in from California all over the place, and you know they're selling their house there, and and they have enough cash to buy cash a hand. house here. Exactly to buy. That's it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Although I've been, I mean, the market here is pretty. It's hard to find a house. I mean, when a house goes up for sale now, it gets uh, it gets. I, I know a few people that say it's crazy out there trying to trying to buy a house right now right i mean my buddy sold his house like two three weeks ago and he got i think he said like fifty five thousand over asking so he he made he, he asked a certain amount and he got fifty five thousand over, over asking what he was asking mm-hmm. yeah it's uh it's crazy out there you can't you can't put an offer in of normal and get it Right. Well, and this is like I said, I mean, this and is that's all I, over, I guess. Is that all over the country or is that here in Utah that it's it's more prevalent that, man, it's hard to it's hard to get a space. It, it's growing and we're trying to build. It's, yeah. I mean, we just can't keep up with demand. Yeah, I mean, kind of like tech in. talent. But I mean, I do think that you are starting to see that across the nation. But I think more specifically, you're seeing more of it here than you are anywhere else because more people are are wanting to come here. I mean, we're we're very we're very innovative here. So it's, it's only going to be beneficial for people to want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, my experience, uh, of Utah has been, it's been good. It's been great. The cultures here is, is interesting. It's, uh, yeah, it took me a little while to get used to Utah cause it is different. I mean, you live other places, but everywhere is different in yeah, the country. I mean, right? Every, everywhere you go, they're going to have their certain quirks, but, I mean, personally, like if you love to be outdoors, if you love yeah. to, if you love the mountain air, if you love the scenery, you have no reason not to be here. Yeah. I mean, I don't want you on my roads because then you're going to just make it make it a longer commute for me. <laughs> but at the same point, I mean, I love where I, I live and, and I want people to come here and experience it and enjoy it. So to, to kind of a little bit switch gears, um, just in general, is this a good time to do something like that to up and leave? Is this a good time to to jump ship with your old company and maybe move somewhere? Uh, we're talking about Utah, of course, today, but anywhere is it? Is this a good time? Is this a time to buckle down and keep your job? Well, I mean, across IT in general, I mean, it is a good time. I mean, there there's a lot companies are going through a lot of change right now i mean because there was a certain survey done by microsoft that says 41 percent of people are ready to to accept a new offer so companies are worried but more so in in the it field you know that you're already in demand so now is the time i mean there's no reason you shouldn't be looking or at least considering other offers yeah yeah it seems like uh and i've talked about this before that the best way to to get a raise is to go somewhere else. I mean, it just it, that's that's always been the way it is in IT and technology. 
uh, usually you're not really that rewarded for sticking with a company. Right. You, you, you know, they love that. They want you to be there, but they're not going to give you much more money. They're not going to give you a giant raise, which, I mean, I get it. But if you can bump up your salary 15000 a year, why not? Oh, right? well, from I mean, what I've to seen, do the I mean, same 15 job. is like bare minimum. I mean, I see, I see people getting offers – Twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars more than what they're currently than make. what they currently are making. And I see some managers who are making like, I see managers and then the people that they that work under them, they're getting offers even more than their managers right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's an interesting world we live in, and and tech is a good space to be in right now. Oh, absolutely. And and I don't know the exact numbers, but I know tech is only increasing. What I do think that the pandemic did do is I think it created a demand for more digital technology than it ever has before and, and going more on the IT side. So with having said that, I think it's only we're only at the cusp, in my opinion, of where, where technology is going and the demand for tech talent. It's only heating up. And you think COVID kind of pushed it further a little quicker than it would have been i mean we've all been talking about working from home and everything and now everybody's like man it was a have to i mean the fact that school kids were taught from at right. home and stuff i mean technology just had to really fa- i mean we made zoom multi-billions you know because of all of that stuff so i mean the future has gotten here quicker you think I think it has. I mean, I, more than anything else, I think we were already going in that direction. But what I think it did is it sped it up. I mean, I think it went from from third gear to sixth gear in, in a matter of 18 months. <laughs> right. We were just going faster. Exactly. I agree. I, I think you're right. Well, cool. This is, uh, this is interesting. So uh, your advice would be if you're in the industry, technology, especially those three, that Utah is a good place to be? Absolutely. I mean, it just software development in general or, or software engineering, I mean, that's hot as well. So, I mean, anything in technology, it, it's really hot, and especially in Utah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, awesome. This is uh, – we got anything else uh, to wrap it up? I'm trying to think. Uh, this is uh, – it's interesting. Yeah, come check out Utah if you're if you're interested in, in tech jobs. This yeah. uh, There's a lot out there right now. So. And if you need any help or – And if they're you're looking- starving. Right. And if you're looking for any advice, go ahead and and contact us and we'll be able to help you with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, folks. This has been the new IT. We will see you next time for the new IT.